Greetings to all of you. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. We'd like to welcome you in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. And so we begin the Eucharist as we always do in the name of God, who is Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. And so, my friends, in our Eucharist this morning, I'd like to offer in a very special way, we'd like to remember those who are afflicted with the COVID. And it's sad to hear that it's not only individuals, but we hear now of families being contaminated. So we pray for the healing of, of their illness. At the same time, for people to continue to entrust themselves to Jesus' healing and mercy and that we have the courage, really, to do our share in order to uh, be able to fight this uh, virus, which really has caused so much damage in our lives. And so, my dear friends, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we pause for a moment and call to mind our many sins before a loving and merciful Father. And with true and contrite hearts, we all say, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And so we pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, Look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ, 
Jesus, by command of God our Savior, and of Christ Jesus our hope, to Timothy, my true child in faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to him who has strengthened me, Christ Jesus our Lord, because he considered me trustworthy in appointing me to the ministry. I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and an arrogant man, but I have been mercifully treated because I acted out of ignorance in my unbelief. Indeed, the grace of our Lord has been abundant along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord, are you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye. You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The opening lines of the first letter of Paul to Timothy is a kind of prayer that we all can imitate. This excerpt contains the basic types of prayer of thanksgiving and mercy. First is gratitude in that God continues to support us. God does not readily give up on us. Like Paul, we feel encouraged because of God's unceasing blessings lovingly entrusted to us. We try to be as faithful in our respective commitments and vocations in life, yet we inevitably fail and stumble. Still, Jesus accommodates and allows us to continue to participate in his mission of salvation. But how about the occasions when we hurt and have been unfaithful to God, like Paul, when we blasphemed and were arrogant, particularly during times of self-sufficiency thereby sidelining and forgetting God. These events and weaknesses inevitably reach a point when we are faced with our limitations and finitude. We eventually realize our lack of knowledge and understanding with the profound mysteries in life. In this difficult and ironic scenario, when we feel utterly down, we somehow get back to our senses to reach out to God, even still with mixed motivations. We just hope that God remains to be the prodigal father, always ready to welcome God's erring and lost children. Indeed, the grace and mercy of our Lord is abundant, along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. And so with this pandemic, 
Is there anything that we still remain grateful? And do we still experience God's mercy and compassion? Meanwhile, the gospel warns us of our tendency to be hypocritical with regard to our judgment. To be non judgmental may happen when we lessen the opportunities for gossips. The insight of Pope Francis makes sense. He says, a way by which we can somehow minimize, if not totally avoid, such evil tendencies is the awareness and capacity to suspend judgments. As we do not really know everything, especially the motivations of people, in doing this or that, which calls our attention. When Pope Francis preached on this gospel, he echoed Jesus' use of the word hypocrite, saying to us, Those who live judging their neighbor, speaking ill of their neighbor, are hypocrites because they lack the strength and the courage to look to their own shortcomings. The Pope then encouraged us to make a gesture of conversion by stopping gossip. There's no such thing as innocent gossip, he said. Instead, he suggested that if there is someone we have the urge to talk about, go and pray for him, go and do penance for her, and then if it is necessary, speak to that person who may be able to seek remedy for the problem, but don't tell everyone. Such a practical com comment from Pope Francis lessens our tendency to be hypocrites more significantly, it allows us to practice fraternal charity, especially when we pray, as authentic prayer always pertains to the welfare of the person or persons we pray for. There is also self-control, as we are advised not to tell the problem or fault of other people. So we then pray for the grace of gratitude, for God's unceasing blessings and mercy. May you also be aware of our fondness for gossips and instead become charitable and less judgmental to lessen our being hypocrites. By his words and works, Jesus taught us the forgiving mercy of God, which seeks to save and not to condemn. May we follow his example as we pray to the Father. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the church may undertake the road that leads to forgiveness, justice, truth, and love, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer that honest and lowly citizens may not be misled by false and ambitious leaders. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that we may refrain from passing judgments on or condemning other people on account of their weaknesses and shortcomings. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that the sick may experience the forgiving love and healing of our Lord. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that the dead may obtain mercy before the judgment seat of God. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for those celebrating their birthdays today, especially Consuelo Serinha, Father Peter Nguyen, SJ, Father Stephen Abuan, SJ, Chip Kuyag Keng, Jing Rojas, Sofia Besa, Reth Costello Zablan, Sharon Ibe, Polly Pelayo, we also pray for the healing of Sheila, Ryan, and Zyrus Banzali, Noni Busuego, Aris and Lor Lorlin Lacuna, Rolly and Pench Saplala, Estela Rivera, Rodrigo Jao, Ruby Socorro, Marlon, Garitan, and family, Alan Matutina. We also pray for the repose of the souls of the following, Joy Carolino, Concepcion Garcera, Leticia De Leon, Raymond Isaac, Salud Pasimio, Father Pepe Bakatan SJ, Ed Milana, Justiano Pontino Sr., Vicente and Elena Ocampo. For the special intentions of the following, Mia Morela Moraleda, Keith Roy, 
Jerry and Harriet Tan, Benin family, Irene Moscardon, Grade 10 classes of Montserrat Cluster of Ateneo Junior High School, classes Mangan, Manua, and Morse. Also for Ray and Vicky Liao and family, Arben and Zelda Santos, Miss Gwendolyn Llano, Yvonne Peralta, Leonora Peña, and Hannah Gonzalez. And for all the intentions you have sent to our Facebook pages at JESCOM and Radio Katipunan, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord, open the eyes of all people who have lost their way in life. By your grace, lead us back to you who loves everyone. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, do give us the gift of true prayer and peace. Graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Honest, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Let's just pause for a moment and remember our beloved departed. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us a beautiful prayer, and now we have the courage to all say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours, are yours now, and, now forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let's share this peace to one another. Peace. Peace, peace. everyone. Peace. 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 Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. So my beloved friends, behold Jesus, our compassionate and merciful Lord. He is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. So thank you for being present and joining in our Eucharist this morning. Please continue to do so every day. The Lord is with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My friends, the Eucharist has been offered. Go in the peace and joy of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Sumaya, who on fire, so some